You know those people who freak out over some minor inconvenience? Well, that minor inconvenience can affect your heart rate variability. My name is Dr. Manisha Benoit, your personal well-being doctor. My goal here is to help you restore your health by understanding the power of integrative lifestyle and functional culinary medicine. If you're new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe here for more content just like this. However, in this video, we're going to biohack your emotional resilience with heart rate variability. You know I'm all about taking care of your cellular health with intentional lifestyle practices. Let's set these intentions. Heart rate variability is a term that's been thrown around a lot, but do you know why it's so important to monitor? Heart rate variability is considered one of the best physical and mental health indicators, so it's important to monitor it regularly as part of your overall self-care routine. It's one of the most informative metrics to monitor your resiliency. HRV is a metric that is constantly changing due to external influences. An example of this could be how you respond to a stressful occurrence at work or how you respond to an unpleasant grocery store experience. Consequently, it's imperative that you understand the factors influencing your heart rate variability in order to positively influence them. Heart rate variability indicates whether you are in homeostasis, the optimal balance between bodily resources or not, which can provide insight into whether you have enough energy to perform at your best physically and mentally. When we are under stress, our bodies go into flight or fight mode, which increases our sympathetic stimulation on heart rate variability giving us less control over our own emotions. So it's even more important to understand this relationship if we wanna feel better. Heart rate variability is measured by tracking the time between heart rates. A low HRV means that your body is not in homeostasis, the optimal balance between bodily resources, and you're likely more stressed. A high HRV indicates that your body is in homeostasis. Here are some factors that may impact your HRV. One, quality of sleep. Two, levels of stress. Three, nutritional deficiencies and poor diet. Four, physical activity and exercise, five toxic relationships, six imbalances in hormones, seven metabolic sluggishness, eight and then aspects of your genetics, and then nine, the aging process. However, you can optimize your HRV and biohack your emotional resilience by using several techniques. Here are some to consider. One, you wanna use breathing exercises like meditation or yoga to lower your stress levels. Then consider massage therapy, acupuncture, even acupressure can be helpful in relieving stress. Reflexology is another way to relax the mind and body. Reflexology involves applying pressure to certain parts of your foot with your thumb and finger in an effort to relieve tension in other parts of the body. The theory behind this practice is that there are reflex points that correspond with different organs or systems throughout your body. You also want to take advantage of hot baths, saunas, and steam rooms to increase your HRV. Ensure your diet is based on whole foods and maintain good sleep hygiene for the ultimate HRV biohack. Don't forget to spend time outdoors. And lastly, meditating is one of the best ways to reduce stress and improve your mental health. In fact, it's been shown that meditation can help relieve anxiety and depression and pain in just a few short weeks. Here's how it works. Meditation involves sitting in a quiet place with your eyes closed and focusing on your breathing or a mantra, a word that you repeat. There are many different types of meditation, but they all involve some form of mindfulness, being present in the moment without worrying about what's happening uh, yesterday or what might even happen tomorrow. HRV is a simple but powerful tool that can help you improve your emotional resilience. Remember, habits are for short-term pleasure, routines are for daily maintenance, and well, rituals are for your long-term functional well-being. Don't forget to check out my best-selling book, The Anatomy of Well-Being, in the description below. If you want to learn more about my self-care rituals, check out these other videos right here. Are you ready to start your journey to well-being? Download the Anatomy of Well-Being journal with the link below.